I wonder to what extent this is true for a, a variety of things that happen here, where they're, they're inherently new ideas, they're inherently pushing the envelope of, of creativity in Jewish life, and so people come saying, Re I resonate with this and I don't really know what it's going to be and I'm open for an adventure, a spiritual, intellectual, emotional, social adventure. Um, and that's how I entered, sort of resonating, inclined, but also a little confused and, you know, curious. And uh, going through, again, not the only experience I've had like this here, a journey of challenge, a journey of confusion, a journey of like really Ezer Konegdo with other people, like really in dialogue in Hebruta about things that really matter to me and us and what we're trying to do in changing and elevating the Jewish community spiritually, socially, environmentally, in terms of our activism and action and learning and spiritual vibrancy and all these different ways all around the country. <clears throat> to, to, to be here with such a um, diverse and beautiful set of actors and, and to have, have grown up through and been exposed to this beautiful an army of light, you know, Teva and Adama and Isabel Friedman, Chazon, Pearlstone, the, the broader Joppy Jewish environmental movement, Jewish farming movement, the social justice movement, Ben the Ark, the uh, emergent community uh, movement, Hadar and Mishkan, Chicago, and uh, Institute for Jewish Spirituality. This, this configuration is, is so potent and has never been able to gather and look at each other and I was like, we, wow, same team and really interesting sort of generational paradigm shift potential and sort of be here and see what's possible. A lot of work to do, but that's what this place and that's what this work is about, is really seeing the, the light within each other and leaning in to try to make that grow.